Hi, my name is David Maldo and welcome to the LDV Podcast. Today I want to show you how I've been upping the game in my live video calls and webinars. In any webinar or, or live video call, I can put my website or PowerPoint or really anything I want behind me, move myself out of the way so I can show you my content, actually move myself anywhere on the screen, or really anything I can imagine. I can come up with a newscaster setup and change my background. It's basically anything I want to do. And the key is, we've all seen these things in post-production. We can all do this with post-production editing. I'm doing this with software that allows me to do it live. I do this during live video calls and live webinars. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsor, High Five. Please go to highfive.com to see how they're reimagining the meeting room space. You can also learn more from an LDV review and an LDV webinar with High Five. We'll share the links below. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to download the OBS software. OBS Studio is the free software that a lot of streamers use on Twitch and YouTube Live. But for our purposes, we're not going to use it to stream, we're going to use it to send a camera signal to our video conferencing platform of choice. So we're going to make this quick, we're going to do other tutorials about the advanced settings, optimizations, details, this is just going to get us up and running. So let's download the software. When it's downloaded, just run the installer, go through the wizard, and select all the default settings. Again, we're not worried about optimizations, we want to just get you up and running. There's just one last thing we need to do before we start OBS. We need to download the Virtual Cam plugin. This is the plugin that takes the output from OBS and makes it pretend to be a webcam for the purposes of putting it into our video conferencing solution. I'll put the link to this page in the description below. Just click the download button and the files in exe. You just run it and it puts the files in the right place. The plugin will be installed and you don't have to worry about it. So that's it. That's all the software you need. OBS and this one plugin. Install them both and then just start up OBS and you should see something that looks like this. Now there's a lot here and I'm going to do other tutorials, but for our purposes, we're not going to use a lot of this. We're not going to be streaming. We're not going to be recording. We don't need to worry about any of these things. Transitions, they're fun, but those are a little advanced. We can not worry about them. Audio, we're doing through our video conferencing. We're not using the audio here. We really just need to worry about our scenes and our sources. While we're not worrying about most of the settings today, there is one quick thing you do have to set up. Under tools, you'll see virtual cam since we've installed the plugin and just click start and then close it. We'll see what that did in a minute, but first let's quickly set up a quick scene. OBS starts us off with one default scene, but there's nothing in it. So let's add some sources. First, let's add my background. We right click, or we could use the plus button down here and choose image. If we wanted a video, it would be a media source. Create a name for it. And then when you click the browse button, you just pick your file. Okay, so I've selected this picture off of my PC, and now I can work with it in the editor. I can resize it, I can move it around, but again, let's keep with the basics for now. Next, I wanna add my webcam. Let me turn myself off here so that this OBS can find me. So adding my webcam, it's just another source. Everything is basically a source that goes within a scene. So add, video capture device, and I choose my Logitech Brio. Now you see that the way the sources work is in layers. Whatever is on top is the one that you see. If I move this down, now you can't see me because I'm behind the image. If I move myself up, now I cover the image. So the next thing is quickly applying a green screen filter, or in my case, a blue screen filter. So you right click the source where you want to add the filter, in our case, our Logitech Brio. Choose chroma key. And again, I'll do a, a more in-depth tutorial about how to set this up. There's a lot of different settings, a lot of different bars. You have to tweak them to get it right. But when it's done, it should look like this. So after tweaking the settings, I still see myself, but I don't see the background. And these settings, these are the ones that are working for me with my setup. You're going to have to tweak these sliders back and forth till they work for you. But then you'll see yourself in front of your background. So let's add one final thing to this scene, a display capture. Again, I'll use my add, display capture, and I'll select my second screen, which is showing my website. And again, since it's on top, it is blocking everything else. So I'll move it down. And now if I'm in a meeting 
and I want to show my website, I simply hide the image of the background and everyone's seeing my website. Click this to show the image and it covers the website. So the last thing in OBS here, let me show you how to quickly make a second scene so I can show you how I switch between different views. Let's just duplicate this scene and let's just make a slight change. Let's take my video capture device and move it, resize it and move it over. So now if I'm showing my website and if I feel I'm in the way of something, I could just switch to the second scene, get myself out of the way. And then when I want more impact, I want to be full size again, switch back to the first scene. So now that we're OBS masters, how do we use these tricks in a live webinar or video call? Let's try it out using High Five. So I log into my High Five account, start a normal meeting, just like I would any other normal High Five meeting. But in the settings, instead of choosing my normal webcam, I'm choosing OBS camera. This OBS camera will now show up under your camera options. Your, your PC sees what hap is happening in OBS as a camera. Choose my normal audio settings, my normal headphone and mic. Don't, don't change that in any way. And then just join the meeting. So now we're in our high five meeting and there's nobody here with us, but we see from our PIP that what we're sending is what we're seeing in OBS. If I switch the OBS scene that puts me in the middle, it's a little recursive. What's happening here is also happening there. Basically, I am now in control of whatever the people in my High Five meeting are seeing of me. Anything I want to show them, I can show them in a more dynamic, more engaging way. It's a lot more interactive. It basically, just about anything we used to do in post-production, we can now do live. So I hope you found this helpful. I expect there'll be more tutorials. There's a lot that can be done with OBS and video conferencing, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.